Dong Hu and his investigative unit were inside the subway tunnel. They had just endured an ambush by a pack of rats that inflicted significant casualties on the soldiers, but they pressed on relentlessly. Eventually, they stumbled upon a group of zombies fast asleep inside the subway train. As soon as the zombies caught the scent of the living, they abruptly awakened and rose from their slumber. The entire subway train, from end to end, seemed filled with zombies, tens of thousands, perhaps even tens of thousands more. This hinted that all the dead in the city had seemingly been brought to the subway and turned into these horrifying creatures by the zombie king. Dong Hu tensed suddenly, pulling back swiftly. He silently thought to himself, there are too many of them. We can't fight this. Dong Hu shouted out orders urgently, run. Don't look back. He threw a powerful punch, igniting a fierce blaze that engulfed the group of zombies ahead. However, a large number of zombies pushed the ones in front forward and charged madly towards them from behind. Dong Hu shouted loudly, We can only retreat. This scale is much larger than previous attacks. We can't fight them. Dong Hu and his team felt their scalps tingle with fear as the number of zombies before them exceeded their imagination. Despite being mentally prepared, facing them in reality was disorienting. They quickly retreated, using ammunition to hinder the zombies temporarily. Run towards the nearest subway exit. Quickly. Dong Hu commanded. But at that moment, a soldier with a flamethrower suddenly aimed into a large shadow that appeared before them in the darkness. What is this? A soldier exclaimed, and all members of the investigative team saw the gigantic figure beyond the wall of fire. It stepped through the raging flames, revealing a head three times the size of a normal human's. It emitted a bizarre growl and clawed at the soldiers. In an instant, the soldiers at the forefront were shredded, and even Dong Hu and some mutants felt despair. Seeing it this time, we're truly in danger, Dong Hu murmured deeply. Meanwhile, Zhang Yi and his team pursued the zombie group, advancing to engage in battle. As Zhang Yi and his team advanced through the tunnel, they came upon a vast area. It dawned on Zhang Yi why the zombies could disperse so quickly, this was a transit station where zombies could swiftly move to other platforms. Su Chunle looked around helplessly and said, this complicates things. With this transit hub existing, we can't pinpoint the exact location of the zombie king. Where do we go now? Zhang Yi replied confidently, I have a hunch. His sharp eyes scanned all directions. It's not far from us now. Before his words could echo, heavy footsteps began to resonate through the tunnel. The sound of the footsteps was like crushing heavy corpses and slowly advancing towards them. The ominous sound echoed from all directions in the tunnel, making it impossible to pinpoint exactly what was approaching. Zhang Yi cautiously muttered, something large is coming. Deep within the subway tunnel, suddenly, deep and ominous sounds reverberated from all four sides. A large shadow gradually emerged. The demeanor of Zhang Yi and his team turned serious. The advancing figure seemed to unleash a monstrous being escaping from its prison. In the darkness, they could make out a tall, gaunt figure resembling a gigantic creature slowly advancing towards them. Zhang Yi became solemn. He quietly wondered, could this be the zombie king? The zombie king. These two words weighed heavily on everyone present. Zhang Yi scrutinized its face, and involuntarily, his pupils contracted. It wasn't the shape of a human but that of a creature with an ancient bronze-colored tough skin covering its entire body. In the dim gloom, its height must have been at least three meters, with long arms stretching down to the ground, its dark bluish-green, ugly, and intimidating body covered in a bronze-colored tough skin. Luang exclaimed loudly, there's another one here. Before Zhang Yi's team could recover from their surprise, three similar monsters appeared from three other directions. In a panic, Zhang Yi immediately realized, there must be a grand scheme behind this. These things couldn't possibly be mass-produced, they can't appear naturally. He grew more certain. The appearance of these zombies is definitely not random. There must be some deliberate factor at play. Uncle Vu asked urgently, Zhang Yi, what do we do now? Zhang Yi responded coldly, now, our only option is to fight. Being in such a large area, Zhang Yi couldn't fully leverage his skills. Liang Yu drew her sword in preparation for battle. Zhang Yi carefully instructed Yang Yu and Hua Hua, stay close to me, don't stray too far. Liang Yu nodded, 
understanding that Zhang Yi needed protection during combat. Hua Hua didn't need further instructions and remained steadfastly by Zhang Yi's side. Zhang Yi continued, we're few in number. We need to maintain unity. Addressing everyone, Zhang Yi emphasized the need to take down the four special zombies first, before dealing with the others. Understood, came the unanimous reply. At that moment, the zombie horde began to move. The four special zombies emitted terrifying roars that shook the underground corridor. The zombies behind them also started to move, growling fiercely. Suddenly, the horde charged towards Zhang Yi's group. Operating purely on instinct under the zombie king's command, their sheer numbers, along with the large monsters, filled everyone with dread. Uncle Vu and Su Chunlei were visibly tense, feeling the urgency. Despite their anxiety, they unleashed fierce flames from their flamethrowers, incinerating the zombies and large monsters. However, the zombies didn't retreat. Instead, they charged into the flames as if committing suicide to attack Zhang Yi and his team. This was the zombie king's command. In the darkness, Liang Yu's sword danced like moonlight, swift and deadly. Since absorbing the abilities of others, her strength had significantly increased. Her sword emitted golden light, tearing zombies into pieces. Among the iron-clad zombies, she picked one up and hurled it like a projectile towards Zhang Yi and his teammates. Other iron-clad zombies followed suit, continuously throwing zombies towards Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi remained calm and opened a spatial door above, causing all zombies to fall into a dimensional rift. Upon seeing this, the four iron-clad zombies hesitated for a moment. But quickly, they burst out from the horde, charging straight towards Zhang Yi and his team. Su Chunlei's face turned pale with fear. Helpless on the ground, he couldn't utilize his paranormal abilities and relied solely on his flamethrower to sustain his combat capability. Su Chunlei angrily unleashed a maximum-powered stream of flames towards the iron-clad zombies. However, a terrifying scene unfolded that horrified everyone present. Despite the intense heat and power of the flamethrower directed at them, the zombies clad in iron didn't seem to be harmed at all. They remained unaffected, their bronze-colored tough skin showing no signs of damage. One of the iron-clad zombies, engulfed in flames, continued its assault. It extended its massive hand, grabbing several other zombies and hurling them toward Su Chunlei. Zhang Yi extended his arms and finally deployed his defensive technique. Two enormous spatial doors blocked the zombies from both directions, preventing them from advancing further. However, this action also meant Zhang Yi's spatial doors couldn't handle other simultaneous attacks in this expansive area. Many zombies ironclad still approached from different directions. Uncle Vu exclaimed in frustration, Damn it, the zombie king must be commanding them from behind. Unfortunately, we can't eliminate these zombies right now. How do we kill the zombie king? Just then, Zhang Yi's calm voice cut through the tension, Don't panic. In times like this, we must remain calm and observe carefully. We'll find the zombie king. It's close by. I can sense it. Though the current situation was dire, Zhang Yi understood that if they could handle the zombie king, the other issues would be manageable. Most of the zombies attacking had already been intercepted by him. The rest would be dealt with by Liang Yu and her team. Uncle Vu activated his powers, transforming into a man over two meters tall and charged straight at an iron-clad zombie, causing a powerful collision. The iron-clad zombie was even larger than Uncle Vu. After their collision, they seemed evenly matched, resembling heavyweight wrestlers grappling for dominance. It was evident that despite their superior strength and physical prowess, the fighting skills of the iron-clad zombies were somewhat clumsy, capable only of basic maneuvers. In contrast, Uncle Vu, a military veteran with years of martial arts training, displayed far superior combat skills. Meanwhile, Liang Yu intercepted another iron-clad zombie with her glowing sword in hand. Liang Yu's sword emitted a radiant golden light, dazzling and shimmering in the air. Before the iron-clad zombie could react, a deep slash appeared across its chest, causing its bronze armor to rupture and release thick, dark red fluid. The iron-clad zombie staggered back two steps. Liang Yu was astonished that even with her full force behind the strike, she could only tear the surface flesh of these creatures. Liang Yu muttered, these monsters are indeed incredibly tough to deal with. In a critical moment, Zhang Yi instructed Hua Hua, go help Uncle Vu. 
He also reminded Hua Hua not to bite any zombies to avoid poisoning herself. Zhang Yi glanced over there, his right eye gradually glowing brighter. Zhang Yi shouted loudly, Liang Yu, step back. Liang Yu seemed to sense something and swiftly leaped backward. Zhang Yi yelled, Sharingan. Immediately after, the space in front of him distorted abruptly. Suddenly, a large area of space exploded. The ironclad zombie, known for its formidable defensive capabilities, had its upper body shattered into pieces. This is Zhang Yi's current most powerful attack skill. Sharingan.